chat, we need a name for this uh, this squad. Um, this oh, ragtag band this, of... This collection of <laughs> exceptional professionals. Um, uh, suggestions in the chat, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pick them up as and when they appear. The intro talkers and the cheese squad are the two suggestions so far. <laughs> I'm, I'm into cheese squad, but... Uh, <laughs> that's that's for my own personal reasons, uh, but we'll let keep the ideas coming, and we'll, uh, we'll maybe we'll even do a poll. Who knows? <laughs> Bro, Marnos is a strong shout, uh, Tom the Giant. I'm loving it. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the D20 Future Show. I am, as always, your host and your GM, Richard. This is episode two of our Everyday Heroes adventure following the Paranormal Investigation Squad of the National Crime Agency as they investigate the Carrington disappearance. This is part of our partnership with Evil Genius Productions to celebrate their Kickstarter for Everyday Heroes, the 5e-powered modern action game. As if a modern action RPG powered by the 5th edition engine wasn't exciting enough, and to be honest, with uh, for us it kind of is, Evil Genius have announced a bewildering number of movie tie-in cinematic adventures, including Highlander, Pacific Rim, Rambo, Total Recall, The Crow, Kong Skull Island, and more. As well as podcasting our Everyday Heroes adventure, we'll be playing it live on our Twitch stream, the D20 Future Show Live, at uh, twitch.tv forward slash D20 Future Show, live at 18.30 BST every other Tuesday, and as a VOD available afterwards. We'd love to have you join our delightful chat and to get involved. The Everyday Heroes Kickstarter has launched and already funded, and is absolutely blowing through stretch goals. Uh, if you back the project before the 9th of June, you'll receive a fully licensed John Rambo miniature, and who knows what else. So, that's the pitch. Uh, do check it out, link in the show notes below, behind, beside, above, or wherever they're found relative to audio. Well, it's time for the first time this season for me to say, previously, on the D20 Future Show. Yeah, so Philip Romano, he's short guy, he's got black hair. He does have some Italian family, that's where the name comes from. He's, he's, he's a guy. I am playing Dr. Gethin Roberts. I am a forensic pathologist from Wales, and I've noticed some unusual things going on, some deaths that seem a bit otherworldly, shall we say, but the medical community disagrees, <laughs> and so I've sort of been pushed to the fringes. James is a... From a posh background, he's someone who thinks quite highly of himself. He sees himself as a leader or I wouldn't say evil evil, but definitely wants to be the ruler of the world at some point in the future. Um, he deserves the right to lead and take charge of serious organizations and therefore will make the most of this organization to get back on the political ladder whilst working behind the scenes to outmaneuver those people who put him here in the first place. The name's Lance Blakely. <laughs> Detective Lance, if you want to get into the particulars. Or at least I used to be. Not even sure what my title is here anymore. Had a glowing career, 100% case resolution, and then it all went downhill. The last contact anyone had with the Carringtons was a single image sent via WhatsApp a week ago. Data forensics were able to place the image as being sent from somewhere in the Nether Wallsdale region. As you can see, the photograph seems to be uh, roughly humanoid. And there's a pause, she says, creature? Uh, with one large eye in the front of its face. Your task, head to Nether Wallsdale, investigate, find the Carringtons, or find out what happened. Yeah, so a few hours into your journey, you pull into a small service station for a break. Do they still uh, have twirls? <laughs> I like to work. Yeah, it's just hard going old players. Three years. So, which sort of monster munch? She's an onion. You monster, onion. but okay. Uh, it's not me, it's, J it's James, not me. Don't come at me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, do I don't know why you think we've solved the world energy crisis in three years, but okay. No, elect electric energy has always ch been cheaper than the uh, other alternatives. Cheaper than a twirl, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's the slogan electric energy. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Three guys who are kind of hanging around, and one of them pulls out a uh, an iron bar and says, uh, "Right, you're not going anywhere. Right, empty the till into that bag." I reach into my pocket and pull out a pepper spray. He's tooled up, and everybody rolls for initiative, please. Uh, 
Philip, you are the first to see that it is kicking off here. You can choose to spend your turn trying to persuade these people that they are their life of crime is an error, if you wish. But you're up. Go. All right, I'm, I'm going to go a slightly different way. I've decided to go a slightly different way. I said to him, trust me, guys. And I try and just like, guys, trust me. This guy, and I point to the guy behind the counter. I've met him before. This guy is crazy. You don't want to get messed up with this guy. This guy... Believe me, there are stories that I've heard about Tristan. He's crazy. Okay. That's a, that's a deception. That's, it's, that's, yeah, uh, it's deception. I'd yeah. like you to roll with disadvantage. I was going to um, say that's... Well, I, I was going to say I get advantage against Crims. In which case, roll uh, well naturally, because that's how it works. Uh, Twelve. It does, doesn't seem to cut any ice with these guys. No, fair uh, enough. <laughs> cool. Do you want to move, or are you perfectly happy? So you are currently sandwiched between two of these guys and right next to Tristan. Who is, of course, behind the counter, because that's how shops work. That is, yeah, fair enough. Can I just manoeuvre in a way to not be in the middle um, in some way? You can move, but of course, because you... I mean, tell you what, I'll let you take the disengage action this turn, because... In fact, do you get that as your bonus action? Because you're a fast fella, an agile hero. I don't believe so. And not that I've got written down anywhere. Okay, uh, we didn't mention anything about classes. Uh, Everyday Heroes has a class system. It's quite a cool one. But you are an agile, and what subclass? Scoundrel. I'm an agile scoundrel. Agile scoundrel. So as far as we're aware, you don't get the uh, the like. No, I don't think so. Uh, but I will let you disengage because you spent your turn talking. But I didn't tell you you were sandwiched between two hostiles at the time. So thank you. So I just, oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Uh, so uh, you sort thank of you. duck separating yourself and uh, the thug we'll call thug number two. Oh yeah, yeah. With a kind of open bin full of sweets and stuff. Do I have my twirl Pepsi pepperami in my pocket? They're on the counter. Oh, that's bad news, guys. That's bad news. So currently... It is. But, but currently Seriously they've not been news. smashed like the cream egg bars, so... It's only a matter of time. <laughs> Those Pepsis are fragile. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Nowadays. Okay. In which case, Lance, you can't put. There's not. It's not kicking off to the point where you could possibly see. So we'll p- move on. Tristan, having been given the pep talk that this total stranger knows that he's crazy, is going to uh, take the. Does he get inspiration? Uh, he does not. Well, no. Not according to that role. Uh, he's going to take the disengage action and kind of run for the storeroom. Oh, do me a favour, <laughs> Tristan. I just thought... Just, uh... that's, that's what he's doing. Uh, it's the thug's turn. Thug number one is going to run up and attack James. And that's going to be a hit. I should probably pull up their stat block, shouldn't I? Here we go. They are punks, according to this stat block. As a reaction, I can shout a defensive order. Yep. Because I'm the charismatic leader class. Ooh. Yes, James is a charismatic leader. If an ally that I see is hit, yep. I can tell them to, how to defend themselves, and they can roll an inspiration die, reduce their... Sorry, I can roll an inspiration die and reduce their damp damage taken to that ally by the result of the dice plus my charisma modifier. Okay, well, it's currently it's not an ally who's about to get hit. It's you. you. So, <laughs> oh, sorry, it's me. So, so save okay, your reaction sorry. because yeah. the punk has hit you with his iron bar. Uh, you're going to take uh, five points of damage. Wow. Oof. Now we get to find out how many points of damage everyone can handle. <laughs> as the thug. Not many. <laughs> no, you're kind of hurt a lot. Pulling out your pepper spray cracks you across the... I don't know if you're turning towards him or away, but he cracks you with his iron bar. Um, It hurts. Five points worth. Thug number three is going to attempt to leap over the bar. And fail. And fails. So, attempting to kind of leap over the barrier, misjudges, treads on the bag of knickknacks. No! Popping it, uh, and knickknack dust goes everywhere. Uh, He slips... This guy, I'm, I'm going to kill this guy. I'm going to kill him. Uh, he's, he slips. Not, no, 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 no. I'd already gave um, uh, James his knickknacks. He's already got them. No, no. I handed them to him. No, I did. No, you said as you he did walked it, in, he had I, I, not got far enough. So before ugh. that happened, the fight kicked off. Sorry, James. Richard's does being everywhere, mean. But because he misjudges <laughs> it, the bag whoop, slips okay. out, you know, pinwheeling away. Um... Knickknacks go mm. everywhere. He slips, cracks the back of his head on the floor, and falls unconscious. Oh. I'll take it. Thug number three is not I mean, joining in. We 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 sacrificed a lot for that. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Um, that, I just want to point that out. Th- there are no more bags of knickknacks in the shop, so uh, what are you going to do? Uh, and that will cost at least seven pound. I know, crazy. You might have to rob the till just to get the money back. <laughs> Seeing his friend knocking himself unconscious, thug number two closes on you and attacks. Who's he attacking? He is attacking Me, Philip. He has rolled uh, 11, so he has missed. Nope. So you're, you dodge out of the way, Matrix style, mm-hmm. which is an old film reference now, but uh, you still do it. Mm-hmm. The original Matrix, not the new one that everybody agrees wasn't a good idea. Uh, and that is the thug's turn. Get in. You're outside. L- roll me a perception check with disadvantage, please. Oh, well, that was... Oh, that was worse. Eight. Yeah, you, you don't you don't hear anything. That's fine. <laughs> James. Uh, uh, this thug has just cracked you over the back of the head, but you've got a pepper spray in your hand. I'm going to pepper spray him. <laughs> you're going you're gonna, like, to pepper spray him. Okay, uh, how yep. does pepper spray work? It's a spray that you spray yep. in someone's eyes, and if Brilliant. you spray it in their eyes, it blinds them. Okay, brilliant. Thank you for letting our viewers all know that. And in the game... That's how it works in the game. <laughs> that's how it works. Okay, is it, is it a roll Does to it hit? Does it actually do damage? Uh, yeah, yes, yes, it's a roll to hit. It's um, <laughs> It's got a range of 10 feet, and I get um, 10 rounds of it. Okay, you can either attack with disadvantage, yeah. or you can step away, provoking an attack of opportunity. Um, <sighs> I... Yeah. I, I was I was questioning whether I could do it, not not whether I not not <laughs> intending on doing it. Okay. I'm announcing um, that's what was happening. I, I, this isn't meta gaming. It was um an it, it was a that's question right. of whether I could that's get right. that. The internet um, is quietly judging you, Alex, for your meta gaming. So, uh, you would you like to I, attack with disadvantage? I, I, I will I will attack with disadvantage then. Go for um, it. And that is nine. Nine is not going to hit, so you spray next yeah. to him, ruining a collection. Uh, the, the chiller, the chiller is full of drinks, and you spray it across the uh, the chiller. That James. So, in response to my previous one not working, yep. I'm just going to. And are you allowing me to have the items that the book told me I have? Yeah. I pull out my pistol that was concealed. Okay. <laughs> Because you just said I can have the items that the book says I have, and the book yep. says I have a pistol that's concealed, so okay. that happens. I think we can all agree this is a radical step, but okay. Yeah, um, and I just point at him and say, and I just say, this is your one chance to leave. <laughs> okay, amazing. Make an intimidation check with advantage. <laughs> what happens when I already have advantage? Do I roll four or three? What happens? Um, uh, as Do you we know, get double with advantage? 5e, that's it. You just roll <laughs> with advantage. You either have okay, advantage right. or you don't. That's the way it works. Okay. Auto success. Uh, 21. 21. 21. The guy drops his iron bar and is and looks like he's about to run. He wasn't ready for you to be packing heat. Oh, yeah. He was just trying to rob a service station. Lance, uh, yeah, uh, roll a perception check with disadvantage. Um, perception, I am proficient in that. So, uh, 13. 13, yeah, you, you, you don't. You... <laughs> it's been a long time in the car with only just a quick nip of booze to kind of take the edge off life, so this cigarette tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> you, you promised yourself you were going to quit, but you knew you were lying to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Things have got dark. Uh, Tristan <laughs> is... Gone? St- stabbing at the, uh, at the code lock to get into the storeroom, but it's not working. It's like, he's done that thing where you accidentally press an extra button mm. and then you have to you have to press clear and then start again, but he didn't know that until he turned the thing and he's not managed to get through. Mm-hmm. Thug number two shouts, he's back in heat! And runs. <laughs> awesome. Uh, uh, and is now standing behind thug number one, who looks surprised. Thug number one is going to uh, take another swing and miss. Gethin, it's your turn. Roll a perception check. At disadvantage still? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you've got no reason to believe that there's anything kicking off, so... Oh, that's still... That's oh, really... Oh. Exception plus three. Uh, that's a blurry 20. Blurry 20? Yeah. Uh, you can see something is going on in there. You can see there's a, a man at the door with an iron bar. You can see that one of your colleagues appears to be kind of in like a fighting stance and uh, just behind him you can see that although philip should not have his service pistol out it should be in the boot in the firearms locker he is pointing it at a teenager <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what? what you see 
<laughs> Stand by the decision I made. <laughs> I, I can tell. There's a bit of your brain that goes, I'm probably going to have to report that, and it's probably not going to be a straightforward conversation with HR. Is yep. the car still open? Uh, yeah, unless somebody's locked it. Are you going to ram raid the shop? <laughs> Please say the answer to that question is no. I, I was just going to hide in the car. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair okay. Enough. You I get just in gonna, the car. That's gonna... Yeah, that's that's a valid reaction to this. I am. I am. Uh, my job, right? I am a civilian doctor. <laughs> I t- I just take the path of most chaos. So yeah, I was just thinking ram raid instantly. <laughs> Whereas I see as someone with a pistol, I'm like, I am. This is way outside of my comfort zone. I am All getting right, in the back of the car and. Keeping my head down. <laughs> Excellent. So, yep, yeah, that's the that's 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 what you're doing. Excellent. You do that. Uh, you... <laughs> and it, all the, the all the doors lock. No, you do that. You push. And it's just me down... looking out. Yeah, I'm... you push down. Just the looking thing out. To lock, and it 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 um it kind of flashes up with uh, key not in car uh, and then unlocks again. Uh, <laughs> that's Gethin James. Uh, this guy is still trying to murder you. It seems. So he's not been deterred by the fact that he, one of his friends is now unconscious and one of them is now running away. Yeah. He's, it, 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 he, if it helps, his intelligence is minus one. Okay. Wonderful. Um, there's no there's no disadvantage to pulling a nightstick out, is there, at this point in time? No, no I'll, let you, uh, I'll let you pull out a nightstick and hit him with it. That's fine. I'm thinking that probably will be 16. Uh, 16 is a hit, yes. Yep. And that will be... Let's say 1d4 plus your strength modifier plus your proficiency modifier if you have uh, basic weapons proficiency. That will be five points of damage. Okay. So you've kind of you, you've attempted to spray this thing. He's cracked you across the head with the iron bar. Uh, you're like, okay. And crack him across the... Uh, uh, as he's kind of left himself open with that last swing, you crack him across the head yeah. and he just goes down unconscious. At which point... We are out of initiative. The uh, well, no, maybe maybe you are, maybe we aren't. Uh, so I, I was going to say, I, I I wouldn't be out of initiative at this point. I'd be trying to take down the uh, the other guys and uh, uh, okay. make sure they don't get away. Well, but we're police officers, and these yeah. people have just tried to rob They're a shop. Trying to commit a crime, and one of them is unconscious. Yeah, yeah two of them are unconscious. That's <laughs> that's where we're at. They did commit a crime. Yeah. <laughs> um, do I get? Do, uh, I suppose. Yeah. One of them attacked yeah, they... a police officer. Yes, committed a crime. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. We, we can all agree crimes were committed. Um, that's uh, Philip's turn then. Sorry, that's James's turn. Nope. Oh, Philip, it's your turn. Um... <coughs> we're all going to find out whether Philip is going to shoot at this. Uh... No, 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 no. That's That was not the plan. Um, it is. Uh, my reaction would be to make sure this guy on the floor isn't yeah. bleeding to death. Um, because that okay. would mean a lot more paperwork, and nobody likes paperwork. Okay, make a uh, first uh, aid check. Oh, it was almost a 17, but it's a 3, so that's a 5. <laughs> yeah, okay. So um, as you push your thumb in his eye as you're like trying to... He kind of... Yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't react, uh, making you suspect that he is out cold. Mm, I press a bit harder. As <laughs> uh, a bonus action, you attempt to torture the unconscious man. I don't see at what point he does react. Because uh, if he doesn't react when I put my head, my finger through his whole head, then he's probably dead. That's my point. It could just be unconscious. He's unconscious. So if you want to push your thumb through his eyeball and into his brain, then we need to have a long conversation about what's appropriate behaviour. Only until Adam. he reacts. Only until he reacts. He's unconscious. <laughs> he's unconscious. If he doesn't wake up, the more you do something to someone who's unconscious. That's, that's not, not just that's not how being unconscious I just knows that, but Philip doesn't. <laughs> Okay. No, um, no, I'm not going to do that. It's fine. I, I, I would be stopping Philip at this point in time, depending <laughs> yeah, yeah. on how long his turn is. Well, the whole point is, I failed the check. Is the point? Good. Okay, okay. So. I think we can all agree that uh, Philip attempts to do there. first aid and doesn't succeed and fails. Yes, that's, that's, that's great. Lance, everything else is flavor text. <laughs> Roll me a perception check with disadvantage as you presumably light up another cigarette. Um, <laughs> no, no one's come to tell you it's time to leave. I, I got time to kill. To like, uh, you know, mm, they're, not, they're not ready yet. They must be doing something. Let's go um, to Flavor Country. Okay, that is a seven with disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. You, you're still like, huh, it's taking them ages. Um, I thought these electric cars were supposed to charge quickly. Tristan, 
uh, manages to get the door open and dives into the storeroom and it, the door slams shut behind you. Thug number two is going to take off running and he runs, uh, leaps over a grass verge mm. and, and is gone. Unless you're going to give chase, he is out of there. But no one is quite sure which way he went. I'm going to move Philip away from the uh, unconscious people and uh, handcuff them both. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh, so I'm, what I'm going to assume, um, for, for the sake of, of advancing the narrative, what you're going to do yeah. is handcuff them and call the police. Yes. Um, you're going to call, call in police to come and deal with the situation and to encourage Tristan to come out from the storeroom. Yes. Yeah, this is not our uh, jurisdiction. No paperwork, etc, etc. Just happened to be two police officers in the shop when it was robbed. <laughs> Philip? Yes? Have you put away your service pistol? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's back where it's meant to be. It's not a service pistol either. It's a it's a secret. Be. It's a secret pistol. Concealed pistol. Okay. It's a secret pistol. You're, You're being. I'm imagining it's like a cult magnum, but it's probably not. It's probably just some little pea shooter. So did, but... did you go for the That's undercover illegal. cop? That's what that is. Um, <laughs> did you go for the undercover cop? Um, no. Then? No, I didn't. Okay. You just speak needlessly mysterious. Well, it'll be under the police background, won't it? That's that's the thing. <laughs> Full disclosure, I've not put any police loadout on my thing at all, because <laughs> I couldn't find it. <laughs> uh, that's, the that's the okay. loadouts are in the equipment section. Uh, the police loadout is... Uh, uh, it's too late for that, Alex. I'm just just, abandon, just <laughs> leave the man behind. We leave men behind here, and I'm the man you leave behind. <laughs> I, accept, I accept the fate that I've brought on myself. I've made my bed. I'm lying in. So after you have been interviewed, a statement has been taken by the police officer who is sees this sort of thing. This sort of thing happens occasionally uh, in, in service stations in this area. There appears to be a gang who are kind of working it up and down. So they're, they're not particularly surprised. They were a bit surprised that uh, you were able to take them down, down so efficiently. But uh, you can, before the end of the day, if you want anyone who took any hit points, you can take a short rest while you're waiting for the police and recover one hit dice's worth of hit points. So you mm -hmm. roll your, your hit dice. Take that opportunity. Thought you might, given that I rolled quite a big number and I don't think you've got Ooh. very many hit points. Although, I, d I don't know, I haven't written them down. So, you know, no safety net. None of me going, oh, it's one less <laughs> hit points just, than you have. It's just straight hit points, isn't it? It's not hit, hit points, points plus constitution. Hit points plus your con, yeah. Oh, hit point. Uh, sorry, the dice roll plus con. Correct. Mm-hmm. Excellent. That's much better than my just dice roll. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did your dice roll suck, or are you rock hard? It. It. My dice roll sucks. <laughs> okay. There we go. Um, I got a natural one. Ah. I also have a pretty good con. Okay. Good that, enough. that feels like an Alex character. Mm. Yeah. You find that Gethin is. I mean, Gethin. Do you make any play to sort of as as the police cars turn up and you're like, it's been twenty minutes. I... What's going on? <laughs> I'd figure when I saw the um, the perpetrator run I, off. Yeah, I, I, I feel I would... like I once they were cuffed, I would have rounded up the others and informed well, them would... that the shop just got robbed. I would have gone into the shop. I I have I'm a doctor, <laughs> and I, would, yeah, I imagine I, I, I would have I, done something about would... the unconscious. Yeah, got... yeah then. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so what, what, why am I trying to poke my finger in his eye when you I could do no it? I have no idea. So I would go do my job. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you, what, uh, analyse to find out what killed these people. Well, I was going to say, th they'd actually, I would be better off if they were dead. I think I would do a better <laughs> job then. <laughs> so, Philip, your pistol is reconcealed. Gethin, you, uh, no, yeah. you treat the guys, you just put them in the recovery position, but of course they are unconscious and handcuffed until the police arrive. Um, and presumably an ambulance, uh, because they're unconscious. That's cool. At some point, I assume, Lance, you sort of wander over to find out what is going on, and you see police car and an ambulance turn up, and you're like... He just, he just comes in to buy his next packet of cigarettes, because he just managed to go through a whole packet while he was waiting Lance, for Lance, us. Lance sees everything, and, and he just shakes his head. Leave you guys alone for five minutes. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining Lance stood in the, in the smoke shelter smoking and watching this <laughs> guy run off over a grass verge and just... <laughs> <Be> like... <laughs> <laughs> Kids these days. Yeah. You get your cardio in, sir. 
Eventually, you, <laughs> having dealt with the crime, you get back in the car. Lance absolutely stinks of cigarette smoke now, but um, you're... <laughs> That's that's what happens after a smoke break, and he's had a really long smoke break. Uh, And uh, who's going to take the second leg of the journey? I can take it if uh, James doesn't want to. I I, I feel like my initial intent would have been to take the whole leg, but I'm the only one who can hit in the face with an iron bar. So (laughs) If you're you're happy to drive, you drive. If you're not, I'm happy to take the wheel. Aren't we special? Uh, I'm the only one who's been hit in the face with an iron bar, so I don't have to drive. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> I, I, I might ask. I, I might ask someone else to drive this leg. That's okay. I, I can take that. But my thought process would probably go with: Do I trust myself more to drive myself <laughs> or Philip? Even though mm. I've been hit in the face with an iron bar. <laughs> I mean, I think it's fair to say that James expects to go through life being driven places as a kind of lifestyle, so... Yes, you seem more of a... Yes, of a, yes, yeah. yes. I, I, I fully expect that as well. However, his trust in Philip being that person to drive him places well, might be less so. You'll have to make your own mind up about that. I will tell Philip to, uh, to drive. Philip, mystery man Romano, uh, give me a drive mm-hmm. roll as you attempt to drive the rest of the way up to uh, oh, Kelsey. That's, uh, that's not good. That's a six, that is. Six? Okay. And I got a plus four on that. I rolled a two. Okay. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Does Alex's character have something to do that will fix the terrible roll? We're all learning our characters uh, at the internet. I'm learning everybody's character and what they can possibly do. It, it, it doesn't help. I thought it did, but it doesn't. <laughs> we end up going back south again. <laughs> On a stretch of the A1M, <laughs> uh, how you got to the A1M from somewhere that was clearly Liverpool, judging by everyone's accent, mm. it's very hard to tell. But yeah. um, you see, flash, flash, uh, a speed camera goes off behind you. Uh, it's so not my car, though. It's note. fine. It's someone uh, else's car. Speed camera. Um, I, if, if I put my lights on, if I put the flashing lights on, then it's like I'm in an emergency. So it's fine. That, that doesn't happen. Yeah. Uh, you just, okay. just trigger off the... Uh, um, <laughs> okay. so, just going to make a note that you pulled a weapon as well. But just just That's for my fine. notes, for That's the consequences. Uh, cool. That is going in the report as well. But I, I have, I have filed I think that. It's, it's in the report that has been filed, uh, because. That's that's what you all, you all gave a statement to the police who were actually dealing with that crime, uh, and everyone saw that uh, Lance is drinking, <laughs> except James. There we go. Those are. Those are things that will be important later. I mean, I, f- I feel like I've got the number of Lance anyway by this point in time. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but you, you haven't... Oh, the, the other two have noticed that he is actually drinking on the job, even if the job is yeah. currently being driven to a place. Yeah. It is kind of early evening as you arrive in the small town of Netherwalden. It is a, uh, it's a small town in Northumberland. It's got relatively small high street with just a few shops, and you can see that there are two pubs, one of which is called the Rite of Passage, and the other is called the Grateful Knife. Mm-hmm. There is nobody about, really. You can see that there's a couple of people hanging outside the uh, the, the Rite of Passage. What 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 time is it approximately? Like, is it is it evening? Is it's it... sort of um, it's maybe half past seven okay. in the evening, so it's it's relatively late. But, but we'd expect people to be out getting loose. What day is it? It's a small town it in Northumberland. It's not. It's yeah. It's a weekday <laughs> in a small town in Northumberland. So you would not expect uh, the young people to be out getting loose, as uh, maybe maybe people will say in 2025. Uh, I predict. I predict they will not. I think people say that in 22. To be honest, that's just me. <laughs> you can see at the kind of at the end of the high street is a small. It's a, a large house with a with a kind of sign on the side of it that says the Wallsdale Rest and a, a big thing saying B and B. It's the bed and breakfast that is the only place you're aware of to stay in Nether Wallsdale. Part of me would have hoped that there would have been somewhere booked ahead of um, <laughs> us travelling up, but <laughs> sort of something you could have done, but um, no, no, nobody nobody thought to do it so, uh, <laughs> unless someone's got one of those flashback abilities. Does Dr. Gethin have a flashback ability to allow him to, to book a hotel room for each of you? I have expect the unexpected. I don't think that's quite that doesn't one. doesn't quite work, I don't think. Uh, I mean, there's one that's called... I, I had that poisoned, but um, that's that's also not, not particularly relevant for this moment in time. 
Well, I, I don't have it, so whatever it is that might be, I don't have it. So. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you uh, presumably drive into the car park of the Wolfsdale Rest. Mm-hmm. I'd hope that there's a room available. Yep. Is there a room available? What else might be waiting for the Cheese Squad in Nether Wallsdale? And where are the Carringtons? Perhaps you'll find out more on the next episode of The D20 Future Show Plays Everyday Heroes. Wait, is it... Wallsdale Warden, because the, there's a Warden in Northumberland and there's a Wallsdale in Cumbria. Uh, this is the town of Nether Wallsdale, which is in Northumberland. Have you been Googling towns? Yes, I've been Googling towns. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect from Alice? No, yeah, he's I not actually what playing this game. Yeah. He, he's a spectator who just he's... happens to have a few lines what in it. He's <laughs> fact checking his notes. He's pulled up Google Street View. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get the name of the two pubs correct. <laughs> they are called the Rite of Passage and the Grateful Knife. What's the street they're on called, sorry, just so Alad can uh, uh, postcode included? <laughs> High Street. <laughs> <laughs>